All right, Sega. You win. I'll take a quick break from my Superstars video, and I'll talk about your new trailer. Because, yeah, it's good. It's more. There's more excitement to be had here. What a time. What a time. Let's go through it and break this down. Sonic X Shadow Generations, the Doom Powers trailer, just came out and gives us a bit more insight on how Shadow's new Doom Powers are going to play, and also a few new environments, characters. I don't think it's quite to the extent of Kingdom Valley and Bullet Station paired together, but not far off. Especially at the end. Let's go. We meet again, Shadow the Hedgehog. It's a pretty dang good recreation of Black Doom's voice. It's not Sean Schemmel. When you pair him side by side, you can tell. But a great impersonation. And this isn't exactly a beloved character to where if you don't do it perfect, people are gonna be upset. You have quite a bit of wiggle room, but even so, it's a very close recreation, so good on him. These cinematics look so good. They're probably not gonna be in-game. It's all just for trailer stuff, but... I'm happy to be seeing it again. The first power is the Doom Spear, so like an enhancement to Chaos Spear. I don't think it's really going to be any different, I think you just get multiple. And it's an auto lock-on, so... I guess it's like a really long-ranged homing attack in a way. You can do it while you're moving, kill enemies on the fly, and then I'm pretty sure they refill your Chaos control meter, so... I don't know if there's a meter on the Doom powers, probably. Something to keep it in check. And then that's going to be the sort of feedback loop of killing enemies to refill chaos, and then somehow you refill Doom Blast. So I think this is going to be a pretty fine move. It's another thing that homes in and destroys something. So it's probably not going to be that crazy elaborate, but it will help clear enemies and refill your meter. I think that's going to be the main thing. It's, it's a refill. You can see the text in the background, Space Colony Arc. That's the white space hub, only now it's in 3D. And so this is where he gets the powers. So it's going to kind of be like Adventure 1, where you search the hub maybe to get power-ups. That would be quite the callback. We haven't had that in a long time. Unleashed. And then that was pretty much it. Not that that's a necessary format to continue, but we're already throwing back to that game, along with many others of a similar era, so that's pretty cool. Next is Doom Blast, and where he just assaults us. Like, he's- that's us! He just beat us up! We're the camera! This is just POV when you have the fourth emerald. So this is a combat ability. Fling dudes into the air, and then you launch them. And you can see... There's an aiming reticle on it. So it's like... These are kind of like wisps. This is a long-running franchise of learning about what works and what doesn't, and slowly, maybe refining it. Throwing it away, bringing it back. We've been refining things a lot more recently, so it's nice to see that. They are bringing back things that worked. Maybe things that didn't work, but had good ideas, and are giving it new life. That's great to see. So yeah, you can aim it and fling it into up there is the Kingdom Valley switch. I can't tell, that looks like a 2D section, but from the front. The main function here is to fling enemies into other things, to like break walls, maybe find secrets, and I don't know. It's not really combat, but you are beating dudes up and throwing them. So, it's probably gonna be like different pathway accessing. Maybe you can fling them really far and hit an enemy that's like beyond reachable with a spear. It's like out of reach for that, but you can hit them way over there and then you get some meter back from really far away and then that gives you an edge in the speed run. I don't know. And then we have Doom Morph, Conquer All Terrain. I don't know why I love the way this thing looks. It's like a lava lamp where I can't stop looking at it, and it's all... every... it's... it's liquid and... I don't know. It's weird. You know, it's kind of like the Sentinels from The Matrix. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's kind of giving me those vibes. I, I think they killed it on this design. It looks cool. I don't even really know what this thing is. You just conquer... yeah, conquer all terrain. Well, terrain that's purple, specifically. I don't think you're gonna be able to use it anywhere. They haven't quite got over that yet. Looks like it has some decent speed as well. It's sort of like a modified boost and then, you know, maybe you can even like do a little boost jump. Like off of here, just jump off there and then reach something. I don't know. And then you can swing, you can tether, 
which looks like a much faster and better version of the Avatar's wired homing attack, or the, I guess, the sonic boom enter beam. You could just say Spider-Man, call it even. Yeah, that's fair. You can see a little alternate path off to the side there. It's good. You know, they've got the standard go left or go right. You decide going on in this area in particular. We'll talk about the area itself in a minute. But very open, very Kingdom Valley-esque. And then this is the big one, the Doom Wings. These look pretty fun. Flight. It's never a bad call. It's always fun to just fly around, and it has pathways made for it up here. Yeah, and this is the stuff that we've kind of been missing. These, well, Frontier's had a lot of it, but wide open spaces. Even if it's only an illusion, making me feel like the level is big is half the battle. Presentation's key. And I think this game's nailing that so far. Jeez. What are these, chaos tornadoes or just regular ones? You never can tell these days. We see this poster. This is Beyond Another World in the background. Looks like Shadow on the rooftop. Some people were saying this might be like a movie 3 teaser. I think it's just this game because it has the upside down city mirroring it, which we've seen in some of the cinematics, so... I think it's just a cool looking picture. But what the heck is that thing back there? This like giant beetle with a whirlwind in it. I can't even... it's too small to really make out from here, but... I think that's the thing controlling the tornadoes. Because that thing that it's holding, it kind of looks like a giant ring from Sonic 3 from here, but... I think that's just gonna be sort of like Doom's eye at the end of the Radical Highway section where you quickly beat it up and then beat the level. And then finally, Doom Surf. Where it's Mario Sunshine, baby. Let's go. We're mainly navigating the hub, and then... There he is! It's Metal Overlord! They, like, they just, they just dropped it. This was also pointed out to me, but this is the spaceport chemical plant background from Forces, but recolored to look like Final Fortress. I didn't even notice. Looking at it, I totally see it, but my eyes were so fixed on metal that I just assumed like, oh yeah, it's Final Fortress. It's got the color scheme and you're in the water, you're at the bottom of it instead of being high up, which is a cool take, we never saw that. And then it makes you think, oh my gosh, is there gonna be a Final Fortress segment? Egg Fleet? Are they actually gonna do it? One of the most desired levels in generations that didn't get to be put in? Are we gonna get it? Probably not, I imagine this is just a boss fight. So, I'm not gonna expect that, but any reference at all to it? I mean, hey, that'd be cool. Maybe, maybe it gets a slight remix, a soft remix? I don't Man can dream. So you slide into these, like, drums to bounce back into him. So it's kind of like a chasing boss. That's actually a really cool... That's a fast attack! Look, he lights up and then s swipes, like, immediately after. They're finally, you know, not going so easy on us. It's a cool telegraph, a clever one. It's based on his robotic design. He's swiping his tail at you. That's good! Oh, that's- what a good shot. Oh my... Oh, it's so good. Alright, so let's go back a little bit and look at some of the areas that I passed by. Some of the new, new locations. What I couldn't believe. Someone said, I didn't believe it at first, but then later and doing comparisons I realized, oh yeah, you're right. This is the city level, Sunset Heights from Sonic Forces, but the inside, the interior, you can mainly see it in the background of Ghost Town and Park Avenue, the textures, the colors, and later we'll see the enemies. Here, let's see if we can get a better visual. So he aims it, he's about to swipe it, you can see the enemies from Forces, the little bees and the, it's pretty far away, but the steel robots, they're back there. And then you look at the walls and you're like, oh, I'm starting to see it. The kind of tattered walls being torn, the lights, the brown and white. Yep, that's Sunset Heights. Yeah, there, you can see the steel enemies very clearly. So we're exploring the interior, which was such a... I don't know if we're actually only going to be in the interior, but what a subversive move, because I would not have guessed that this was... they were bringing back a forces level, which I'm happy to see because that game needs... 
More development, my goodness. I don't think they're going to reference the Metropolis or the Eggman Empire Fortress, but those are my two favorite areas with this one close behind, so... I'm glad that they at least picked the most iconic one. Makes sense. And Shadow did play this level. And then that's the hub world again, breaking walls to maybe... Is that like a power-up up there? All right, so let's talk about this. Chaos Island from Sonic Frontiers. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even question it at first, but then I realized, oh yeah, Generation's whole premise is going through the past, like your own past. Sonic goes through his levels, which is why Radical Highway being in 3DS Generations didn't really make sense. But this, Chaos Island, Shadow wasn't even in Frontiers. So how the heck are they bringing back... <laughs> maybe it's part of the hub? Or maybe... Who cares, because it looks good? <laughs> I mean... Sure. Give me a good game, I'll... No questions asked, but... That is interesting. I wonder what the explanation, if there is one, is going to be. I mean, depending on who you ask, it's either a beautiful or a boring looking island. I mean, yeah, it's all gray, but... I just like rocky textures. Something about it. It's a very beautiful part of nature, in my opinion. And the contrast on the shadows was always a highlight for me, and I'm glad they chose that lighting. That part of day. They even got the floating tower up there. Look at that. Yeah, don't know how it's here, but... Out of all the islands in Frontiers, that was the one that was the most problematic, because it was mainly in 2D, which went against the whole open zone mentality. And... It's not that it felt rushed, but there were parts of it that felt maybe underused. Such as the volcano, which I made a point of. I mean, you could fall in the lava, and there were some parts around it, but there wasn't like a level built around it. And this might just be a quick little section too, but they're doing it. They're using it. And what the heck is the music going to be? Because Frontier's music is very chill, very introspective and calm slowly building to something epic. This is going for rock electronica fusion. I did say, if there's ever a time to whip out a flame core guitar, it's here in the active volcano. I wasn't expecting it to happen, and I'm still not really, but I also didn't think they would bring back Chaos Island. I really don't think it's going to happen, but man, I thought the hopes would get lower as more footage came out, not stay the same, if not a little bit higher. I'm going to put a pin in that. There's no way. It's not happening. Prove me wrong, please. Looks like a fun section, though. I, I just like whenever you have to hop around lava on little platforms. I know it's because they're showing off the highest quality footage that they can, but it looks even better than the one in Frontiers, and that just came out. Which also, I guess I should mention, yeah, Chaos Island, not only was Shadow not in that game, but it just happened. And yet, I'm excited. Because it was the island that didn't really win me over. I mean, not that Ares was like some beauty. I mean, it's a desert, you know, looks nice. I like deserts. But Chaos Island, that's got some detail in it. It's got some cool parts I would have liked to see more of. And more in 3D, certainly. And... This game's going to give us, I assume, a full act in 3D. So now it begs the question, how many confirmed areas do we have now? Because we've got Kingdom Valley, Bullet Station, some kind of city level. They might be fusing Sunset Heights with Radical Highway. Now we know Chaos Island somehow is in here. And then the arc level, of course. So that's five we have for sure. Five different ones. And I'm kind of lowballing it by combining them, a couple of them. So there might be, I mean, there's a chance that could be the whole thing. And it's just 10 acts. If they didn't reveal everything in the trailer, because I don't like when that happens. I don't like whenever trailers give away everything. A lot of times I don't even watch. But for Sonic, I make an exception. Because you never know what the heck is going to happen when the game releases. And they already made me want to buy the game again with the limited run, Dreamcast statue, soundtrack, all those goodies. I don't know if I will. It's possible, but $250, oh my gosh, and you know that's all the statue. Otherwise, it would be like maybe $150. This is insane. But there's so many good things in there. Keychains, posters, steelbook again. Ah, oh, 
I gotta do it. So yeah, Sonic Shadow Generations. It's looking good. I think they might pull it off. And if they do, Sonic Generations is only going to be even better. I know people are still looking at it like two different halves, like two games in one, but with the right execution, this could just be one big game, like a hero and dark story. They are adding the dark story to it. Generations was a pretty short game, fulfilling, but short, and now they're making an already critically acclaimed game possibly even better. If this is your first time playing the game, you have the whole Generations portion to enjoy and then go into this after. It's going to feel a lot more complete. Most of us have already played Generations, so we're probably just going to jump into the Shadow portion, but I think for newcomers, this is going to be a much more fulfilling experience, assuming they get it right. So, I'll be waiting. I'll be ready for when this finally does drop. Can't wait. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to Superstars. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.